thanks for being here with me. I'm gonna see if I can see your comments. Um, oh, yay. I'm curious uh, who, where you are, um, and whether or not you are also a cellist. And also let me know about the sound. Earlier when I did a test, it was a little too poppy, so I can turn that down if it's a little too poppy, uh, like popping distortion, that sort of thing. If you're on a phone, there's a limit to what I can do, but I would love for you to have a good sound experience. I play the box suites for myself every day, and I've been playing those over on Facebook and Instagram, and tomorrow I'm playing all six on Facebook, so come join me for that. And I realize it's been a long time since I did great with the audio, thank you. It's been a long time since I did anything on YouTube, um, and I'm gonna do all the Piatis soon, but I thought that I would share Bach with you for now. So um, I'm gonna just go through the sixth suite, and in the meantime, if there's a movement from the suites that you could really use right now, let me know. Um, anything except maybe the fifth suite, because I don't want to tune down and tune back up. But if the fifth suite is absolutely your favorite, maybe I'll do that at the end. Um, I think we're so lucky as cellists to have Bach. And so I want to share that together. Um, for now, I'll go on with the Alamon. Hi, Lena. Hi, Kim. Hi, Nicolo. Hi, Andrea. Please, I hope I'm saying, uh, pronouncing accents in the right place and everything. Thank you for being here. And uh, now I'll go on with the Alamon from the Sixth Suite. By the way, what you hear in the background, frogs. <laughs> um, I don't know, they don't care about the cello, so they're just going to sing along. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
special movements. Um, hi, I see, oh, thank you. Um, I see comments and questions here. Thank you for those. Hi, Argentina. Uh, where else are you watching from? I'm curious to know. And, oh my gosh, the third time, to Allison, hi. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I've been playing Bach every day on Instagram and on Facebook, and I just didn't want to leave. Um, YouTube out. I imagine some of you probably saw uh, the Popper Etudes, maybe that's how you found me, I'm not sure. Um, most of the time I'm playing concertos and sonatas, concertos with orchestras and sonatas with pianists and solo music. Not much Popper, <laughs> but that was fun. Hi Detroit. Um, hi, uh, hi Vanessa. Hi Kim, Deb, Perva. Is that right? Um, thank you. I uh, unfortunately I will not play the fifth suite maybe at the end, but I don't want to tune down and then tune back up. Um, but any other requests, uh, please send them in. I'm gonna sort of play through the sixth suite and in between movements, I'll play movements that you request. The ones that you feel make the most difference to your day, especially right now when there's so much happening. Um, I think music is a great way to connect and chill out. And if you're a cellist, grab your cello and play along. So I saw the Gigue from the fourth suite. So I will do that one. And then we'll go on with Bach six, um, with the Quran. So this is gonna be interesting. This is a great way for me to practice and hopefully for you to have a moment of catharsis. So suite four, 
Leipzig. Still in, in D major. Hold on, hold on. Here we go. Um, and I don't think I've ever done this before, taken requests for Bach, but that is wild to go from the Quran <laughs> of six to the, oh man, what a, what a mind melder. I'm not, uh, what, I'm, I'm not going to say the word that popped into my mind, it's not appropriate, but um, yeah, that's fine, wild. Uh, I see Vanessa asking for Ginio and maybe Julio, but um, that is... Uh, uh, I will play it uh, at some point, but not today. Just Bach today, because I got to get ready for all six suites tomorrow on Facebook. Um, Prelude from the fourth, second Sarah Bond. Okay, I will try to remember these. Um, so, <laughs> Chicon. I don't actually know the Chicon. I played play, played parts of it. Um, so I'm seeing some good options here for now. I'm back to the sixth suite, and then I'll play one of these again, continue on to the sixth suite, interspersing the others. So the next movement in six is the Courant, <laughs> which just seems crazy to me, having just played the, uh, the Gig from four. If you have any tips about how to reset my brain and fingers, um, please let me know. And no, sorry, I only know the cello suites. We're going to stick to the cello suites. E major partita is pretty awesome, though. I guess I could do it. Ah, have to practice that. Um, OK. Courant from the sixth suite. And then we'll go back to uh, the requests. So if you made a request um, towards the end of this movement, please put it in again so that it's at the bottom of the comments for me. <coughs> I think that was just the, uh, the nuts I was eating. 
Okay. Um, Quran from the six. Today, once on Facebook and uh, once on <laughs> uh, once on um, yeah Facebook and once on Instagram. So my fingers are kind of tired, and I would be really curious to go back and compare the tempos because I don't think I played the Quran that fast in the other ones. So forgive my little things. Um, Oh, singing with me, yes, that, that would be great. I should, I should actually work out a little arrangement of that and we can all do it together. Um, Italy, oh my gosh, I hope you are doing okay. Yes, that is, uh, I feel for you. That's, um, yeah, stay strong and stay healthy and stay inside wherever you are in the world right now. Um, please do that. All right, I see several requests for uh, second, we've got second suite, um, Sarabon, but also the fourth suite player prelude. So what I'm going to do is play the second suite Sarabon, and then the fourth suite prelude, and then the sixth suite Sarabon. This is great endurance test for me, and hopefully something to help you let let it go. 
Music is so great for that. Bach is so great for that. Take a moment to uh, just let things be. Um, let things be. So here's the Sarah Bond from the second suite. Obviously, that that was the Sarah Bond from the second suite, and yes, um, now I'll do the prelude from the fourth suite before returning back to the sixth suite to do the Sarah Bond. Still got to do that. Sorry, can I just this stay stay where I put you? Oh, sorry, it's not gonna stay where I put it. Okay, bear with me. Um, is that? No, that's fine. Good. All right. Uh, wait. Let's see what we mean. Here we go. 
So, yes, thank you for tuning in. Keep letting me know where you are. I love the other non-Bach requests um, for today. I'm not going to do that. Um, Yang gang, yeah, math rules. Um, not going to do that because I am kind of getting ready for all, all six box suites tomorrow. So I'm focusing on that. Um, but I love those other pieces and I will share them soon. Uh, maybe make some videos of them and post them here and on my Patreon, etc. I see a question before I go on. I'm going to use every break I can get because there's a lot of playing. Come on, show me. There we go. Uh, from Neopa. I don't think I said that right. Sorry. Was my first Bach the Berets from Sweet? No, actually, um, what did I... What was my first Bach? I think it was the prelude from the first suite, actually, weirdly. Um, maybe it was. Is that from Suzuki? I did Suzuki. So if the Suzuki has the third suite Bach, then that might be it. Hi, Liz. Um, the noise in the background is frogs. Frogs just singing away. Um, all right, so here's the fourth suite prelude, and then back to the sixth suite. to do this it's kind of crazy but it's fun thank you for your requests 
Hi, hi, Lena. Yes, Suzuki. Okay, then I also learned the berets first. Um, hi, Michael. Um, I started playing the cello at the age of three. I was an old three-year-old. I think I started in like September or October, and my fourth birthday was um, in December. So, you know, barely a three-year-old, um, almost a four-year-old, just a few months early. Um, and I just loved it. My parents never really wanted me to be a musician. They just wanted me to like play and appreciate music, but I took it very seriously. Cello's the best. And now we're going back to the sixth suite. I really do think this movement is like a prayer. Sarah Vaughn.
thank you for being here with me. Um, I would like to know, I, to Ana in Buenos Aires, Buenos Aires, did I say that right? Um, I'd like to know what other movements, not from Suite 5, sorry, the tuning, um, other movements you would like to hear. Uh, oh, Sarah Bond from 4. Okay, maybe I'll do that one in between the last one. Oh, oops, I'm not supposed to touch the face. Don't touch your face. Uh, okay. Um, where was I? Maybe I'll do that in between the gavotte and the jig, and then we'll see if uh, several people can agree on what to finish with. <laughs> Or maybe I'll just finish with the G from six. It's a great way to finish. But for now, I just, I think two Sarah Bonds in a row might be too much. Um, so I'm gonna put the Sarah Bond between the Gavats and the G, and maybe something else that you suggest. I hope this helps you uh, take a load off and breathe and uh, focus on something positive. In fact, in addition to letting me know what other movement beside the Sarah Vaughn from four you would like to hear, um, let me know something you're grateful for. Much 
fun. Bach is so great. Um, first prelude. Oh, that's a great idea. Prelude or minuet? Prelude. Okay, Gigue de from four. Okay, since we already, yeah, the Frog Choir. Box week two, prelude. Oh, thank you for all of these suggestions. All right, since all we have left is the Gigue, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play the Sarah Bond from four because that was already requested. And since the Gavats are um, fast and from four as well, I'll just have to wait for tomorrow, sorry. Um, and then I will close with the first sweet prelude because that's how it all began. Um, but if you missed one that you wanted, tune in tomorrow on Facebook Live on Joshua Romancello. I will do all six suites uh, starting at 1 p.m. Pacific, um, California time. And wherever that is for you, I know East Coast time is 4, uh, Buenos Aires, that's 5 p.m., 1700. Um, all right, so what was it? Right. Sarah Vaughn from four, and then the G from six, and then I'll close with the prelude from one. This for me is the quirkiest Sarah, Bra Sarah Bond. It's so... E flat in a Sarah Bond is, is uh, it's unique.
You know, that's actually the last, that's the last piece that I performed for a live in-person audience. Um, strange, <laughs> strange times we live in. And I hope all of you are safe and taking care of your health and those around you. Um, that was, um, oh gosh, 2 a.m., you should go to sleep. Uh, that was the encore that I played after I played my own cello concerto in Columbus, Ohio, which was the last concert um, before cancellations started here in the States. Uh, I know some of you are facing that as well, so um, my heart goes out to you, and I hope that you and your families are uh, safe. Oh, sorry. Oh, the camera's over there. Now I understand. I hope you are safe. Oh, that's very sweet. Thank you. The Popper Project was, um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Piadia is next, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook, where I'm doing a lot more live stuff and posting. I'll get back to posting on YouTube with the Piatis and maybe some other things. But uh, in the meantime, lots of stuff over on um, Instagram and Facebook. Two more, I'm gonna do the Gigue from Six. We'll see if my fingers stay intact. And then the prelude from One, just a great way to say good night or good afternoon or good morning wherever in the world you are.
<laughs> oh, I let a thought creep into my head. Never a good thing. That's so fun. I love Bach. Thank you for being here with me. Um, I really appreciate it. Uh, Saturday is sick, sweet day this week. And um, thank you, Allison. That's so, thank you, Ashton. Thank you, Vanessa. Um, and yeah, I appreciate you being here and sharing this time. Thank you, Kim. Um, and yes, uh, tomorrow on Facebook, all six box suites at 1 p.m. Pacific time, my time. You'll have to plug it in to know where that is, where you are. Hi, thank you, Jose. Thank you, Neon, my voice. I'm saying that. Thank you. Oh, oh, Ryan, oh no, you missed the fourth suite, Sarah Vaughn. It's so great. But tomorrow on Facebook, um, I'll be doing all of them. So you get your chance then. Um, and to close it out, because my battery just said it's gonna die, I'm gonna do the first suite prelude. And thank you so much. Um, I'm doing a lot more on, thank you, Chaimito, Chaimito, I, I hope I said that right, and Naopa, Naopa, thank you. Um, Nicolo, this is the Maria, thank you. This is the first sweet prelude, and please tune in tomorrow and share with your friends. We can all come together around Bach and have a moment together, even when we're a part of solidarity, humanity, and hope. Um, Facebook, Joshua Romancello, also on Instagram. And I'll be back here with more stuff for you as well, but it's a lot more active over there. Sending you peace and love and light. Here is the prelude from the first suite. you well. I wish you health, peace, love, strength, wherever you are. And uh, take care of each other, take care of yourselves, stay safe, and stay positive. Thank you. Oh my gosh, thank you for the messages. I hope to see you tomorrow on Facebook. I don't actually know how to stop this. this is, I don't think I've done YouTube live. Um, and my battery is about to die, so I'll answer a couple of questions before I sign up, because I see them coming, and I also found my ex. Neon, uh, et cetera. I am in Santa Barbara, where I'm artist in residence at the Squire Foundation. It was supposed to end soon, but uh, we're in lockdown, so hopefully I'll be here for a while. Um, tomorrow's is at 1 p.m. 
um, Pacific time, California time. That's 4 p.m. Eastern time, 5 p.m. in Buenos Aires, Buenos Aires, and um, you'll have to do the math for other places. Thank you. Take care. Good night. <laughs>